All right, so hey guys, uh, I'm just going to be presenting to you some of the new equipment that I'm going to be using here. I'm um, recording off my phone right now, but instead of using the DSLR camera that I had been using, uh, I can actually use a JVC uh, video camera this time. Uh, I'm letting, someone's letting me use this, so that would be cool to use. And I'm also getting some pivot head um glasses with a camera in them to use and i'll just get them out for you here real fast pull them out i'll show you what's going to go on see there's the uh the lens and then there's the camera that's right there and uh i'll be using these to shoot game footage live and so i can get better footage of that instead of using having to use my phone so the glasses just fit on like this and then uh Hopefully I can get some really good footage with this. So this episode is going to be really kind of testing out some of this equipment. Uh, so just stick with it guys and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Unfortunately, I asked about it for camping 360, but it doesn't have a control. It's gotta have a controller. Um, I, I don't understand how that makes sense because you guys got like controllers for it right there. Yeah, okay. the sell for extras, but we need a controller to go with the system. Found some PlayStation 1, goodness. Bloody Roar 2, X Men Mutant Academy 2, Tekken 3, and then Hydro Thunder. So, some good finds here.
Do you have the uh, system that plays some of these games? Like some of the cartridges? You don't have it? Yes, how much for this right here? Yes. Mucho. Five? Okay. Yeah, just if you just want to hand me the whole stack, I'll just end some of these, yeah. That's good. And the other two that have fallen down there as well. Thank you. All right. Oh no, you're fine. Fine, I'm just looking. Thank you. 
Hang on a second. Alright, so guys, uh, we'll be trading in a few things to a local game store. I think it's called Gamers Paradise, anyways. A few games, uh, so a headset, and then maybe some guitar instruments from uh, Guitar Hero and Rock Band. We'll see how it goes. What is going on guys, this is Toei, I coming at you with episode 17 here of my Game Finds series. Uh, as you can see I'm recording with a new camera obviously because I can move a lot so faster. Anyways, uh, yeah, all the video you've just seen has been just like a kind of a first thing basis me with the, uh, my cell phone and my new pivot head glasses and now I'm recording with this new camera. So things are going to be a little different now, uh, especially this episode because I'm trying to still figure things out just a little tad bit. A lot of mixed stuff. Um, I'm going to start off with some of the small stuff and then work my way up to the really, really good finds. Uh, so first thing is this uh, Rock Band uh, little USB thing. This goes to the Wii and the uh, Wii guitars and drum sets need this if they're wireless in order to play and run so that was good I only bought that for like two or three bucks maybe it was something like that uh, the next thing I got uh, off camera which was uh, actually pretty disappointing because I was was filming and then the camera I was using my pivot head sunglasses camera glasses decided to die 
And so I actually got footage of this right before I got it. So, but it's Parasite Eve for the PlayStation 1. Uh, it comes with two out of the three discs. It comes with disc one, and then it comes with disc two. But it doesn't come with a manual or the bonus CD track. So that's kind of a bummer, but still really happy to see this. <clears throat> the next thing on the list that I did get would be a Game Boy Advance. Uh, also with the Game Boy GameCube link cable. So that was really neat to find. I think I paid like two bucks for this maybe. That's really cool. Uh, I don't know, actually paid three fifty for it if you can see it. Three fifty. Yeah, three fifty for this. All of these. But um yeah, that was really awesome. Cable right here. And then uh what this is, it's the little battery. It's a battery um compartment holder. But it also gives you uh it's like an extra grip, so when you hold it, it's extra grip for your fingers on the back back here. So you can hold it. It was really cool. Uh, so let me move some of this stuff up so you guys can actually see it. Uh, the next thing was this uh, Afterglow Xbox controller. And I've been kind of looking for one of these because you guys heard on the video that I couldn't trade that Xbox 360 I got in unless it didn't have a controller. So I might end up uh, trading this in with the Xbox. I'm not sure. But I only paid like five bucks for it. So it was really cool. And uh, it does glow, and there's a little button on the back here you press right there, right there. You can press and turns off the glow. But anyways, that's uh, really cool. The uh, next things on the list are just two games I got. Um, a Lego Star Wars the video game. I already have this, but I don't have the black uh, version. I have the like the player's family choice something whatever Xbox did of this and then I got uh, enemy front this is the special game stop edition and it comes with the game and the bonus CD soundtrack so that's really nice good to see those <laughs> I was uh, talking about the game store uh, the game store it's in the mall and I did uh, trade some things in I traded the PlayStation moves back a few episodes ago uh, that I got and I got uh, Legends of Zelda Wind Waker this is a complete copy with the manual and the disc. So really, really good trade-in credit for this. Um, the next things I got were at the same Salvation Army that I got the Game Boy Advance at. Um, first thing on the list is something I've never really seen before. Uh, so it's kind of strange when I saw it, it was a Commodore 64 controller. And uh, when I did this video, the footage is all the way down here and you couldn't see it. But uh, this controller feels really firm, nice button. Uh, I've never seen anything for the Commodore before, so this is really awesome to find. The next thing I got was a Pokemon coin game little thing. Uh, I did take a chance on this, I only paid like 50 cents for it. But still really kind of cool uh, to find this. And, uh, yeah, I got, let's show you what kind of coins I got. I got a bell sprout, a Squirtle, and a Dratini. So, that's what the inside of this thing looks like. Alright, and then the third thing I got was a PlayStation 1 game, and it was Bubsy 3D. And this game is not the best graphically. It's actually pretty horrible. It's still really um, bad <laughs> and uh, you can even look on the back with some of these it's just all blocky and squarey and ugh. Spyro was way better than this one so there's that um, those trade-ins I had to Gamers Paradise I um, ended up getting around fifty dollars in store credit for those guitars and some of those games uh, that I traded in, and so I got uh, Super Mario RPG, uh, and they shrink wrap all their games, so this is nice and sealed. So I got it for fifty bucks, and uh, it was really awesome to get this trade in for some of those guitars. I did uh, donate some of those uh, drum sets to the thrift store because I was running out of space and I couldn't keep them, so I had to donate those. So it was a good tax write off, but. 
really great to find this for 50 bucks. <clears throat> the oops, the next uh, set of games I've got are some PlayStation 1 games again, and these are all uh, from a thrift store um, in Madison. So I got Tekken 3, put that right there, uh, X Men 2 Mutant Academy, uh, Hydro Thunder, and then Bloody Roar 2. This one is beat up. It's got a ton of scratches on the back. You can see the rings around the edges. So I don't think this one will work, but with a little, uh, you know, resurfacing, it might work. All right, so I stopped by the flea market slash thrift store in Athens, and I got uh, just a a bunch of random stuff. Um, for the 360, I got, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, so this comes with Red Dead Redemption and the Undead Nightmare game or whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, also got a 360 Connect for $5 added onto it. So that was really nice to find this little piece, uh, of equipment for five bucks. Set that back there. And where it really kicks off is in the uh, NES games, because I got uh, some of these. Uh, some of these are oh, some really good games. Um, so first off, I got Back to the Future. It's an LJN title. Ugh, LJN. Ugh. But yeah, Back to the Future. Let's set this right there. Uh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Another bad game. And then I got Ninja Gaiden, which I might actually give a play, because I've never... I've not had Ninja Gaiden, so, or don't have it, now I have it, anyways, Ninja Gaiden, and, um, the next thing I got was a complete inbox Temco Super Bowl, and so this comes with everything, as I'm about to show you, it comes with the box, obviously, but it comes with the game, game, Temco Super Bowl, uh, it also comes with the manual, it's got a little fold right there but that's okay and it comes with uh some of the art or artwork and um just other little paperwork and stuff so that was really neat to find uh and then i got uh nes open um everything but the game <laughs> this thing is in amazing condition so let's just pull pull everything out you know you've obviously got your box your box and then you have your NES open manual which is in amazing condition you got just some other paperwork before you read before you're using your NES uh, just an ad for some other Nintendo games let's see what they had or uh, maybe this was for Nintendo Power or something I don't know uh, then it was this was a poster for like Nintendo um, now you're playing with power poster. I'm not going to unfold it. But there's that poster. Actually, I think I filled it, folded it wrong. Oops. Yeah, there's the poster. But, sadly, no game. Didn't come with the game at all. And that was really, really saddening. Before I forget, I also went by the Downtown Risk Commission in uh, South Madison, I got Star Wars uh, The Best of PC. It comes with five games. It comes with uh, Star Wars Empire at War, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Jedi Knight to Jedi Academy, mm -hmm. or something like that. And then uh, Republic Commando. So it's all five five games and on two CDs, and there's like a trial for Star Wars Galaxies or something like that. So, yeah, that was fun. Paid like five bucks for that. So... That was really awesome. And then the last thing, which is astoundingly amazing. I went by the Downtown Rescue Mission in Huntsville and uh, picked up something really rare and something you don't see often for, I think, $3 because I had a 40% off. So it was 5 but I paid 3 So it was a Namco uh, joystick for the PS1. And uh, I'm going to zoom out here because... This thing is actually pretty big. Uh, this thing works. I tested it myself. All the buttons work. 
These things are really rare. You don't find them a lot. So I picked this up at a thrift store and it was really neat. Uh, really glad to see this. Uh, that's really awesome. I'm not sure if I will be keeping this or selling this off. So just letting you guys know. But anyways, that's pretty much everything. Uh, not a whole big slew of games. But uh, I did get uh, quite a bit of stuff, and uh, especially that Namco uh, PS1 controller uh, fighting arcade stick is really awesome. But uh, anyways, guys, this is the pickup video for July. Um, actually, late July. I know there's not a lot of stuff because, um, you know, summer is really stupid around here, and a lot of stuff doesn't really happen. Especially thrift store wise, because um, people are always gone. I was gone. Um, so around mid to late July is when it starts to go like downhill, and then it'll pick up back up in the fall, usually around there. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, or subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, check out the other videos in this series. And peace out. I'll see you guys later.